Sorry, it's going to be almost impossible to summarize this uh, weighty Oxford University Press book in a couple of minutes, but three important points, I think, in the politics of legislative debates. Uh, let me begin with one. We are all so cynical these days that many people are saying, well, what politicians say in their chambers uh, is irrelevant to me. They make fools of themselves. Um, I don't want to watch it. It's uh, irrelevant, so on and so forth. But this book goes into hundreds of pages to point out that you learn a great deal from who gets to speak, men or women, uh, equally or not, uh, young uh, versus old, newly elected versus longstanding members of the chamber. Uh, you learn the policy of both the governing party and the opposition parties. So the parliament is indeed relevant. The chamber is relevant, depending on what you call yours. The second thing is uh, for Americans who are watching, wouldn't you like to have your president subject himself or herself to questions in a joint session of Congress on a regular basis? Uh, yes, the president does a great deal of media, some more than others, of course. Our prime minister in Canada doesn't do as much media, but faces opposition questions every week. Wouldn't you like that? Now, years ago, when someone shouted liar to President Obama, that was inappropriate. It was unparliamentary language. It would be admonished in our system. But shouting resign or you're uh, full of it or who knows what, something that is parliamentary language, is part of the give and take of governing and debate. And Americans don't have that as much as we do. The third thing I would say is I would quote the so-called uh, staffers with short pants which didn't actually exist. This was a phrase used in the Harper years a, a while back in Canada. Those uh, staffers were indeed grown adults. They didn't have short pants. They weren't kids. They were far older than my father was when he was fighting in World War II, but they got that nickname. There is a phrase that they use that I object to, and it is, you know, it's not called answer period. You don't have to answer the questions. It's called question period. Well, this is really disrespectful, number one. It's not whether the questions every single day in Parliament are good questions, is that we do have a question period, which, of course, the Americans don't. Also, the minister, the average minister, has a dozen staffers in the political office, so-called exempt staff, a dozen staffers in the communication shop in the ministry. The legislative library has numerous ways to get answers to the questions that are going to be asked. I mean, after all, the minister is responsible for the policy, doesn't have an answer to a question. Ridiculous. So this book has proved my point. Politics of Legislative Debates, Oxford, good on you. Use the Oxford comma in uh, reference to the Oxonians.